your outfits, to adjust the controls of your outfits. So I'll link a tutorial in the description. So yeah, you want to know to your favorite character should be in the first slot, character slot. So yeah, from there, because you want to get that done, you head to the clothing store. Okay, every person wants to look at outfit to keep because Jurassic control is your outfits except the one you have on to keep. So this is the old clip I'm using. Jurassic is still working for old gen. So yeah. Open your pause menu, go to online and select swap character. Okay, so once again, transfer could be lose your outfit and it's only working for old gen. So I'm not sure there's a method for new gen on YouTube, but I'm not sure you can check it out. So yeah, all right. From here, best you want to do is you want to have your female character in the first slot, character slot, and from there, go to the second slot and create a male character, a new male character. Okay. In the second slot, okay. This is the only way to work to get modern outfits on your female character. So yeah. All right, you can up a rank if you want to, but yeah, from here to make sure your character, your second character is a male, to change your gender, call it sex to male. All right. Once you load in, from there we got to change it to male. Go down to, to the last one and save and continue. So yeah, super easy this this part. Let go and see you guys when to spawn in the lobby. Alright guys, remember if the console do not pop up, this is a new session. Sometimes that happens when you spawn in a new character. Alright, from there we guys find a new session, head to the clone store, all components will be in the description. Two alpha components to make one outfit on your female character. Okay? From there, you can start with the first outfit component. From here, best you want to do, go down over to tops. From here, go down to design the t-shirts. Okay? At the top section. Best you want to select as a blue, striped it, sun toe, carpal t-shirt, shipping number 32. This you could merge into the uh, tops onto your component. Alright? So yeah, kind of cool. From here, back up, go over to pants, go down to suit pants, and select these. Classic. Evil Alveol Suit Pants, shipment number 62. Alright, from there, because you want to do, we got those selected. Because you want to do, back out, go over to shoes, go down to sneakers, and select the Peak Palm High Tops, shipment number 2. These are the merging components. Basically, you can really tip uh, shoes onto your component. Okay, so yeah, from there, because you got the selected, back out. Say your outfit. We're done with the first outfit. It's super easy and simple. So say your outfit in slot one at the front counter. Remember, keep outfit one. Now we just change the top and any gloves and change for outfit two. Okay. So yeah, from here for outfit two, best you want to do go down to Take biker time. cuts and select the Inigo patchy diamond cut number fifty-seven. Alright, this is the component. Select this one from there. Back out. Stay on tops. Go down to T-shirts, okay. For me, select the charcoal T-shirt. Should be number sixty-one. This is the component for the racing belt, the white racing belt, okay. So yeah, select this one. From there, basically got done. Selected. We're almost done. We only only need to add the chain and the gloves. The pants and the shoes are the same. So yeah, for me, go over to chain. Select like the platinum curb chain. Should be number thirty-eight, thirty thirty-five. My bad. These are the stra the straps on your body. So yeah, from here go down to gloves and basically want to select the light only tactical gloves, shipper number 12. Alright, select these. Side, we'll from there we're done with the outfit component first to second. Alright, from here say your outfit is saw two. Make sure your outfit component is good, you didn't miss nothing out. From here select an outfit and put it on. From there we're going to do the transfer glitch part. So we'll link a helpful tutorial down below. It's the only for old gen, explain everything. So I see you guys after transfer my components. To my female character. So see you guys. Huh? Alright, guys, remember, basically, you want to say your outfit that you have on to keep. Alright, check if your components are transferred. Uh, both of components are transferred. So, yeah, we got it. So, yeah, from there, basically, you want to do back, go to the front counter, go and start, go uh, down to okay. bodysuit outfits and select the sprunk bodysuit. It should be free, or they are free, okay? So, it should be the last one, the sprunk bodysuit. Alright, so yeah. Remember, basically, you want to do, go to uh, online, your pause menu. To jobs, play jobs, cross created. From there, start up any job in the race section. Do buy five jobs you can select from. So, any one, all of them work the same, okay? So, yeah, all of them work the same. 
remember guys, so to uh, put the clone to player own or, or ask the host to put the player to clone the clone to player own, my bad. But yeah, I love to with someone else that or do the same thing, merging the same thing, so yeah. So if you remember you just want to add a white one more person because I was joined someone that is merging as well. So yeah, kinda easy and simple. I see you guys once someone one more person joins. Alright guys, when one person joins, I ask the person, the person we should start it up, so yeah, we're merging, so yeah, kind of easy, so it'll take about 10 seconds to load in your, in the log section, so yeah. Alright guys, remember, because you want to go twice to the right, to merge the body to top onto your outfit, you see notice you merge the body to top onto the outfit. Remember, go one more time, we'll merge with the racing belt and the straps. I know it's glitching like that, you see on the screen, the, uh, the top is glitching, that's okay, or unglitch after we spawn in the lobby. So, yeah. So, it's kind of cool with the green and white theme, it looks super cool. Say your outfit basically you want to pawn an earpiece or a breather and then leave the job. So go to your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessory, go to gear, pawn an earpiece or a breather. From there, leave the job for your phone. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I spawn in the lobby. Alright, once you spawn, your top will be normal again once you spawn in. So yeah, from there, just remove your earpiece or a breather off your face. From there, go to the clothing store and say your outfit in the sock. So yeah, it looks super cool with the black, the, with the green and white, with the pants. Looks super cool. So yeah, the next step is you want to do is stay at the clothing store. And you're going to merge is a hat onto her outfit. So I'll explain how to do that in the next clip. So stay at the clothing store. So yeah. Alright, for me, go to the hack section. Go down to cap backwards and select the in this, in this, get these backward cap. From there, go to, you notice the, our outfit messed up. That's okay. We already saved our outfit from earlier. From here, go to go to the telescope spot. So we're gonna do the telescope glitch to transfer the hat onto the outfit that we saved earlier. From here, wrap out the telescope and simply press around on the D pad. You notice your character stop and your hat will stay. So put on that money outfit that we saved back, and then back out and walk away. All right, look at that. You notice your hat is merged. Look at that, we got it. From here, to save your outfit once again in any solve that is open for you. From here, delete your components because we're already finished making the modded outfit. So yeah, this modded outfit with the sprunk top looks super cool, guys. And like and subscribe for more female outfits. And like always, it's your boy, Simons. I'm out. Peace.